Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's event is shown live and exclusively on SecondsOutTV.com and features former Canadian Cruiserweight Champion Troy Ross against Carl Handy in the main event. And now, please welcome to the ring, Milos Pantelis! Pantelich making his way to the ring, accompanied by his trainer, Peter Wiley. And Peter told me earlier on at the weigh-in that he likens Pantelich to a Rocky Marciano. A Rocky Marciano with a, a bit more boxing skill, according to Peter Wiley. So we're going to find out what Pantelich has to offer here tonight. A very short amateur career, perhaps due to the fact that there's a a bit of a lack of competition when it comes to cruiserweights here in the Canadian amateur ranks. It's tough to find big athletic guys in and around that range, considering the age of amateurs. They just don't get that big and that athletic all the time. But here we have a nice product, and we're going to see what we have. John Mercanti making his way to the ring. It's all business today, no robe. That's a fashion statement. He's got the toque on, and it's cold in Brantford, Ontario, where he's coming from. As you can tell by his theme music, performed by Young Jeezy, he puts on for a city. A proud Brantford native. Dying the black and red. Famous colors of plenty of sports teams in Brantford, Ontario. Get ready for the specifics. Back down to the ring to your ring announcer, Chris Gochia. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the three judges appointed at ringside to score this cruiserweight battle consisting of four rounds of action. Dr. Alistair Murray, Mr. William Voodoo, and Mr. Harry Davis. Referee in charge, Mr. Rocky Zolnirchek. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks, his official weight, 199 pounds. He is appearing tonight in his first professional bout. Please welcome all the way from Toronto, Ontario, Mila. Across the ring, his opponent fights out of the red corner, wears black trunks with red trim. His official weight, 201 pounds. He has won his only professional bout by knockout. Please welcome the pride of Brantford, Ontario, John the Tank Mercanti. Fighters to the center. Okay, guys, I've went over the instructions in the change room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Touch up. Come out banging. We're all set to go here at a Rumble at Rama. Both of these guys mean business at the weigh-in this morning. The only contestants that, uh, the only combatants that did not shake hands and even look at each other, they're ready to go. Fighters trying to establish the jab. You can tell the Mercanti is just slightly taller, fights taller than Milos. Mercanti scored a knockout in his pro debut. There's the other fighter's pro debut as well, Jordan Babbitt. Right hand by Milos, and Milos going after him right away. Mercanti manages to push him back. Milos trying to fire with that overhand right. He's found a home for it three times at least. There's another one. Mercanti covering up. 
Emilo's going to work here. Mercanti might be in trouble. He's hurt already. Mercanti might be ready to go. He's down. Rocky Zoner check might be counting. It might be over already. We're up to eight. I don't know if this should continue. Oh. And it should. Oh, my. John Mercanti is down, and that is the pro debut. The Peter Wiley was looking for. Unbelievable performance. Milos did not waste any time, and you can you could tell by his demeanor that maybe a knockout was what he was looking for. And Mercanti was just blown away. He had absolutely no chance. Virtually no offense coming back at Milos. And really, we know he has power. But with 40 to 50 second knockouts, you really can't tell anything about him. Nonetheless, that's how you have to kick it off. Tremendous win for Pantelich. You can see Peter Wiley in the corner of Pantelich as well. He handles a couple of fighters that will be on this card. And they're all quite similar to Pantelich, as you'll notice. He just breeds pressure fighters. And John Mercanti was not able to stand up to that pressure here tonight. I don't want to question the decision-making of Mr. Zolnercheck, the referee, but when the fighter is tipping over, and you are holding him up, I mean, that didn't necessarily have to continue. Mercanti is still being tended to. Looks like he'll be all right. Doesn't look like his nose is broken. He's certainly shaken up. Still on the stool, as you can tell. Again, Mercanti was leaning to his left. A great ovation for Pantelich. Mercanti may not be cut out for the cruiserweight decision. I mean, if you, if you look at his build, his body frame is more like a light heavyweight. And in fact, when he was fighting in the amateurs, Mercanti weighed nearly 280 pounds. He got himself all the way down to... 201 here tonight. He's thought of going up to heavyweight after this bout. I have a feeling he might reconsider that after what just happened. Ladies here. and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by TKO at 1 minute and 15 seconds of the first round, Milo Pantelich gets his first victory in his pro debut. Coming up, some exciting women's action as Lisa Brown will be taking on Jerry Seitz. The WBA Super Bantamweight Champion, Lisa Brown, again from just up the road here in Toronto, Ontario.